Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Code. So in the last part of this Next.js series, we have created the MongoDB modules and the seeder. And in this video, we are going to see an important feature of Next.js, which is the serverless API functions. Remember, I told you that we can create API endpoints right inside the Next.js app. Yes, this video is all about that. Well, first I'll create the API endpoints with the typical Next.js pattern. And then I'll use the next connect package which provides much more features for creating Next.js API. Okay, enough talk, let's write some bugs. So just go to your code editor. In the last video, I've created this hello.ts endpoints, right? To test our database connection. Okay, so we're gonna rename this to donation.ts cause we're gonna create the donation API first. Donation. Okay, so I'll make two methods here. One is get and one is post. The get method will get the top five donations, and the post method is to create a donation. Okay, so <laughs> cool. Let's remove this try catch block for now. Cool. And by the way, guys, this donation.ts is a separate endpoint. That means this localhost 3000 slash API slash donations is an endpoint. So first, add the TypeScript. Mm -hmm. This request has a type of next API request. Next API request. Yep. Should be auto imported, no. Oh, yeah, auto imported from next package. And the response is next API response. Okay, cool. So, the typical approach to create an API endpoint inside the next JS is to get the method from this request and then just use a switch case. Inside the switch case, just match the get method, post method, and all. Okay, so let me show you. Just get the request method first to const, destructure this from the request. Just give the method, method, and now I'll check the method inside the switch case. So switch case should have a code snippet. Yep, cool. So the key is the method, of course, and then the value is instead of string, just pass gate. I'll put all the logic of gate here, and then just use another case for the post. This is very old-fashioned. But yeah, that's how Next.js API works. Okay, so for the get method, I should get the top five donations when sorted by the date, right? So for that, we can use the donation model. Remember, we have also created this donation model in the last part. We're gonna use this model. Oh, by the way, guys, I need to edit this model. So the idea is we need to add another field which is created at, right? I mean, when the donation is created. So for that, just pass another object inside this now mongoose.schema which is timestamp come on yeah timestamp true so this will create two additional fields inside this collection which is created at and the updated at okay so inside this gate method we're gonna use a donation module should be auto imported yep auto imported no nope. not auto imported yep auto imported <laughs> so donation dot find so get all the donations and then dot sort we can change the sort method sort by created at so in descending order so that's why i use the negative sign created at and we need to get only the top five donations so for that i can limit it to top five okay so this will give me the donations uh, we need to use that await because this is an asynchronous call and just grab this in donations Cool. Let's also use the try catch block to handle the error inside this asynchronous function. Put it inside the try. Cool. So if everything is fine, I'll respond this with a status code 200. So this dot status with 200. And inside a JSON object, just pass the donation. Cool. Yeah, really cool. And if anything goes wrong, I just grab the error. Just log out the error. Uh -huh. Error dot message, cool. And I respond this with a status code 500, which is server is broken. Just pass message. Oops. Server broken, cool. Increase the font size. Mm, better, cool. So that's all the logic for the gate. And now let's put the logic for the post. My voice is not clear because I'm having some you know, serious health problem. Anyway, so just remove this block of code. Cool. So const 
just get this inside this donation just use the donation constructor so donation and now I just need to pass the data so I can get the data using request.body so just get the request.body and put it inside this constructor that's it it will give me the object and now I save this but before that I need to correct the spelling okay this is donation dot save and this is also an asynchronous call so just use await up await okay so everything is fine I will return this with a status code 201 and the JSON is only a donation cool and if anything goes wrong just put a status code 500 and pass the message server is broken cool save this nice mm -hmm. and now we need to call this DB connect remember we need to add the database connection so for that just before this switch just use await and then db connect just call this that's it okay so now let's test this endpoint so just go to postman i mean you don't need to go to postman okay look at this we have already created the endpoint which is localhost 3000 slash api slash donation i don't know how to increase the font in postman anyway look at this this is a get method and now if i just click on this send i should not get any data because we don't have any donation object in our database and now let's create a donation so this is the same endpoint so just copy this let's create another one <laughs> just put it here just make this a post request okay just go to its body click on this body select the raw inside this raw inside this drop down just select this json cool let's add the data i mean just put the data what we want we need to send the amount which is let's say 10 rupees and the name uh, wow name is sumit enter and look at this we got the data with that we also got two additional field which is created at and updated at right nice so let's create another donation mm -hmm. let's say one dollar and the name is lucas lucas vaskas hala madrid Control and enter and this will fire another request so look at this i got another data which is amount one name is lucas and the created and the updated at and now if i just make a get request on this endpoint i should get the data look at this click on send nice and also notice that i got the lucas first cause it is sorted in descending order by the date nice okay my endpoint is working fine and now let's go for the better approach which is the next connect package <laughs> just search for next connect this is specially made for next.js api endpoints okay just select the first one this next connect npm okay look at this we have all the features here listed it is typescript supported this is compatible with the Ex express.js middleware which is much much needed in our app okay it is lightweight this is 5x faster and look at the code style here just input this next connect and just use the next connect dot get next connect dot post dot put dot patch and all you can also use the middleware using this dot use see if you are coming from an express.js background it will be much much familiar for you so let's discuss the problem with the typical approach of next.js look at this this is very unreadable code especially if you are coming from an express.js background you will find this approach very old fashioned it's very tough to add middlewares and chain middlewares and then you can't use the express package as middlewares and then there are problems in error handling and there are a lot of problems in this approach so let's use the next connect this is really cool so just install that go to your terminal terminal let's get another one and just copy the installation code which is npm i next connect copy this put it here so next connect package solves pretty much all the problems cool this is installed nice and now i'll comment out this whole code block okay this whole function for the reference i don't need that for you and by the way guys i'll put all the code in the description box if anything goes wrong in your code you can just check that out okay so yep so let's input the next connect and my auto input will do that 
ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स क्रिएट हैंडल है सो कॉन्स्ट हैंडल है नेक्स्ट कनेक्ट शुड बी ऑटो इम्पोर्टेड लेट्स सी ओ ऑटो इम्पोर्टेड कुल एंड नाउ यू कैन जस्ट यूज द नेक्स्ट कनेक्ट डॉट गेट सो यू कैन जस्ट यूज हैंडल है डॉट गेट एंड दिस इज एन हायर ऑर्डर फंक्शन दैट विल गेट द रिक्वेस्ट रेस्पॉन्स एंड द नेक्स्ट हैंडल है ओके सो जस्ट गेट द रिक्वेस्ट रेस्पॉन्स एंड द नेक्स्ट Let's make an arrow function. That's it. I can put all the logic inside this function, inside this callback function. Okay. So this will be an asynchronous function. So just use async. It's also at the types here. So request is again next API request. We have already imported that. So next API request. The response is next API response. And this next should be coming from the next connect handler, which is next handler. Should be auto imported. Yeah, auto imported. Cool. And now just add the logic here. We already have the logic, so just grab this try catch block, copy this, and put it here. Just comment this out. Nice. That's it. We don't need any switch case and all. Okay. And then just use the post method. So dot post again it will get the request response and the next handler. So just grab this line, put it inside this callback function. Cool. My dog is barking, which is a common thing. Just grab the logic from here. Just get the try catch block. Copy this. Put it here, and then just comment this out. Nice. That's it. And now, what about the database connection? Look at this. We are calling this DB Connect here. But how can we call this DB Connect inside this Next Connect package? The answer is very simple. We can use this as a middleware. So for that, let's create a middleware, and then we are going to use this using handler dot use. Okay, pretty simple. So let's create a middleware. So let's name this const up. What happened? Oh, I mean, this code block is yeah. Anyway, so const let's say database the name of the middleware. Okay, so it will get the request response and the next right. So let's create a function, an asynchronous function which will get the request response and the next request response and next. I'll add the type later. Let's add the types now. So request response and the next. Let's copy this. Put it here. Nice. Okay, cool. So here, just use a try catch block and just call this DB connect inside this try. Use await for the asynchronous call. If anything goes wrong, just log out the error and the database connection error. Error dot message. Okay, cool. And then after that, just remember to call this next. So that it goes to the next middleware. That's it. My middleware is ready. And now I can call this database using handler dot use. So handler dot use. Just pass this database middleware. That's it. That's how simple this is. Okay. And the last thing is we need to export this handler. So just use export default handler. Oops, not handler. Handler. That's it. Let's see if it's working fine or not. Let's go to Postman again. Let's make a get request. Click send, and yeah, fine. Let's create a post request. This is one dollar to five dollar. Let's make this five dollar, and the name is Ramos. Send request and nice. It's working fine. And now next connect comes with much more features. For example, it automatically handles the error. So it handles the 404 error and the 500 error. So let's see the 404 error. So let's say if you are making a put request which does not exist, it will automatically send you a not found, not found error or something like that. Yeah, look at this. This is not found. 
so the api is not broken this is still working but this is not found okay so like this it also handles the 500 by default you can always override that i recommend you to go through this package look at this documentation this is really beautifully documented so just you know read about this look at this this option that no match you can override that this one i'm talking about this just let me know if you want me to make a in-depth tutorial on this next connect because i really enjoy this package okay cool and now remember we have also created this folder which is uh, middlewares so i'm gonna put this database middleware inside this middlewares folder okay so just grab this so just grab this and code with most talks like this grab this okay so inside this middleware let's get another file which is database dot ts put it here just export this out export default database save this we just need to import this next api request or import the next api response and the next handler cool import the db connect next handler is not imported why now imported cool so let's go to donation.ts and here just import this database should be imported beautiful and now let's get another endpoint which is the quotes it will get all the quotes remember we have also created a model which is code so code.quotes.ts cool so i'll just copy paste this because this is really simple so first of all i'll get all this package let's go to this quotes put it here uh, i don't need this donation instead i need the quote so slash quote quote and just grab the model quote 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 and then just copy this get method because we don't have this post method here so inside this quotes put it here cool export this out so export default handler nice so the logic is <laughs> just remove this mongodb code and now this is const quotes shall get all the quotes right so quotes not quotes quote that find get everything so just put an empty object this is an asynchronous call just so just use await that's it so if everything is fine just pass the quotes inside this json yeah that's it let's check this out so let's save this let's go to postman again just copy the url put it here so the endpoint is local 3000 slash api slash quotes q u o t e s quotes control and enter and look at this we got the data so the first one is Walter Jr. My dad is amazing, it's funny, but I did not know that until I found out he was going to die. And then this is Skylar White and the JC Pinkman. Nice, so our endpoint is working fine. Okay. And now we can further improve this. So what I mean by that is, look at this request, this is not used. So just use an underscore. And that will remove the warning. And then, look at this next. We are also not using this, so just use an underscore again, but that will give you an error because under, because you have used the underscore twice. So for that, the better approach is just use underscore two or underscore three, sorry, because so this is the third parameter. And the first one is underscore one. That's it. So like this, you can just you know, substitute all the unused variables inside this parameter. So let's save this. Yeah, and that's it for this video. So in the next video, we are going to see all the data fetching approach of Next.js, which is much, much important feature of Next.js. And I'm really excited to teach about that. Okay, so see you in the next video. But before that, please hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button, please. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.